E&D here. Day 3 for the spoilers of Commander Masters. Leave me a comment. Do you believe that the cards spoiled so far are worth the value of 400 plus dollars for a set booster box? Personally, I don't think so. Anyway, let's start. As per my two previous Commander Masters spoilers videos, I'm not going into that much of details as all the cards in the set are reprints. Kembaka Regent, downgraded from rare to uncommon, Zetalpa Primal Dawn, even in 2023 Zetalpa was reprinted, Wizards of the Coast never lose an occasion to reprint this creature. More white creatures, Jazal Goldmane, Wakening Sun's Avatar from Ixalan, downgraded from Mythic to rare, Nahiri the Lutomancer, one of the few planeswalkers that can be your commander, also here downgraded from Mythic to rare, Another downgrade, Mangara the Diplomat, one of the best white legendary creature for card drawing. It's a pity as the value of this card will be further shattered. Pure Steel Paladin and Righteous Confluence. The color blue, Azami Lady of Scrolls from Kamigawa. Braids Conjurer Adept, the same version of Braids and Minds Aglow. The color black, Curtain Skull and Rexar Master Breeder. Obnixis of the Black Oath, another planeswalker that can be your commander, and Demon Lord Benzelok from Dominaria, one of the demons that hold the contract of Liliana, also here downgraded from Mythic to Rare. The color red, the agro color, Stormclean Artist, Vandal Blast, Rakamar, Helkai Charger, Dracoset Mo of Flames, Grenzo Havoc Razor, one of the best Goblin Commander. Scourge of the Throne, unfortunately downgraded from Mythic to Rare, and Tempt with Vengeance. The color green, the color of nature, Jorel Movule Recluse, Lifeblood Hydra, Gizan the Wanderer Bard, and Verdant Confluence, and with this card, the full Confluence cycle will be reprinted in the set. Multicolor cards, Keikar Winds Fury. I really love this particular borderless profile artwork, but unfortunately the card was downgraded from Mythic to Rare. Sekuar Deathkeeper, Sidisi Brute Tyrant, and another downgrade from Mythic to Rare, Queen Marquesa. Artifacts, Hammer of Nazan, Inspiring Statuary, and a very strong commander equipment, Sword of the Animist. Mythic cards, Mechaos the Unhollowed, Mechaos the Unhollowed was again reprinted. Speaking about multiple reprints, Demonic Tutor. I really love this particular artwork by Donato Gian Nicolo, but how many times Demonic Tutor will be reprinted? Another card reprinted multiple times, the Scarab got from Amonkhet, lastly printed in a particular special promo secret layer card. Balefile Dragon from Innistrad, a card that was recovering in value, but now it will go down again. Savage Beating from Meritain, a $20 card that hopefully thanks to its mythic rarity will not affect that much the value one of the most valuable cards from our devastation meaning that let's destroy the expected value of that set Helid sun crown also here one of the most valuable cards from terrors beyond that meaning that let's also destroy the expected value of that set bribery last reprinted as a secret layer drop card and this means that secret layer drop cards are being reprinted in master set i warned you ulamog diseases hunger from battle of zendikar this is the borderless profile card not bad at all Last but not least, Loyal Retainers from Portal 3K, meaning that every valuable card from Portal 3K will be reprinted. So that was the last card in this particular day 3 of the spoilers of Commander Masters. Join me tomorrow for another day full of spoilers of this very expensive set. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos about Magic the Gathering and the collectible world.